Welcome back, Radio on Fire. Your man Diamond K in here. So, Baltimore Controller Joanne Pratt responds to the Office of the Inspector General report. She has been under investigation. And here's the thing. Baltimore has got to be tired of the corruption, tired of politicians and their shady behavior. Now, the report is coming from uh, the Office of the Inspector General. The report says that the controller failed to recuse herself on multiple votes on matters that she had a conflict of interest, things that she had some type of uh, stake in. Now, Pratt says that this report is uh, misleading and there's numerous misleading false conclusions being made. That's what she said. Uh, she is the subject of this investigation, which uncovers 30 city contracts that she voted to award, which were alleged conflicts of interest. Haven't we heard stuff like this before? What is going on in Baltimore? Where are we finding these politicians at? Joanne Pratt is a Baltimore City Comptroller in Maryland. Okay? Her current term ends this year. She's running for re-election right now. Pratt is a Democrat, and uh, the primary, which has been changed, is now June the 2nd, 2020. There's not a Republican running against her, but there is a Democrat running against her. Um, and she had this to say to her voters. As controller, I have saved $31 million for Baltimoreans. The office of the controller is about earning and saving money for the city and holding all departments and city government and contractors accountable. I will continue to put Baltimore first. Re-elect me, Joanne Pratt. That's what she said to her potential voters. Uh, this um, Office of the Inspector General investigation is a major thorn in the side for someone who's running for re-election. She released a statement and uh, she slammed the uh, uh, Office of the Inspector General. And of course, she's not going along with that. This report claimed that uh, these 30 different items that she voted on totaled $48 million. That involved organizations that Pratt had listed as groups on which she would have to abstain from voting. And that includes Bethel AME Church, where she is a member. So they're not saying that she took $48 million. They're saying that she was voting on things that, you know, before the vote starts, way ahead of time, she's saying, I shouldn't be participating in this vote. And then she ends up voting, uh, you know, in favor of clearly. Uh, Pratt told 11 News that despite the fact that those issues were approved unanimously by every city agency involved and every member of the Board of Estimates, I accepted responsibility for my vote. So here she's saying that she didn't cast a deciding vote. So why are you coming down on her? That's basically what she's saying. Uh, and I'm sure that the, uh, you know, Inspector General has different views on that. Pratt also added that she requested more time to provide extra information, but the report was published before she was able to, and she thinks that an internal investigation will prove her point. So she's trying to say that uh, she needed more time because the coronavirus came and she couldn't provide, <laughs> she couldn't provide the uh, necessary information. Baltimoreans have to be tired of corruption and scandal and the appearance of unethical politicians. After the break, we're going to talk about Baltimore's top politician continuing to disgrace the city of Baltimore. You listen to the Dominic K Show. Stay tuned. There's going to be more after this.